Coming up, the Delta variant of COVID-19 has made its way to North Dakota. We've hit a milestone in the number of COVID-19 cases in the state. Plus, airlines and rental car companies struggle to keep up with travel demand. All this and more on KX+. Hey everyone, my name is Natalie Gomez, let's get to it. The North Dakota Department of Health has confirmed the Delta variant of the COVID-19 virus in North Dakota. The case occurred in an adult who was not hospitalized. This is the fifth variant of concern detected in North Dakota to date. Others include the UK, the California, the Brazilian, and the South African variants. This means there are now five different versions of COVID-19 in the state that the CDC has associated with increased transmissibility, more severe disease, and reduction in antibodies, among other factors. All right, moving on. Active COVID cases in North Dakota have dropped below the 200 level. This is the first time numbers have been below that mark since April 15, 2020, a month after the state began tracking COVID data. As of June 23rd, the number of currently active COVID-19 cases in the state stands at 184. Read more on these stories on kxnet.com. A petition to recall Governor Doug Burgum and Lieutenant Governor Brent Sanford has been approved to circulate in North Dakota for signatures. The Secretary of State's office confirmed the petition and the format meets the requirements of state law. This means the sponsoring committee can try to get enough signatures to put the petition on the ballot. In order to do that, 89,464 signatures would be needed to get on the ballot. In national news, as more Americans try to take those much needed vacations, many are finding themselves frustrated as companies scramble to meet demand. Not only are airlines canceling flights due to employee shortages, but rental companies are also dealing with a lack of cars. Some travel experts are calling the rental car situation Carmageddon. During the pandemic, many rental companies sold off their cars for cash. Now a car shortage is creating issues when companies are now trying to build their fleets back up. According to AAA, nearly 48 million Americans are expected to travel around the 4th of July holiday, almost reaching pre-pandemic levels. All right, that's all I have for you. Until next time, bye.